Okay, our um, altimeter is now mounted. Um, I will want to mount our switch next, but this is going to be epoxy down. And if I'm going to mix epoxy, I'm going to do it all at one time. The other thing that's going to be epoxied on are this terminal block and the ejection charge canister. Um, but before we can glue those on, I need some holes in the bottom. And since I already have the drill set up, so I'm just going to put a hole in it. And that's for, in the electronics mounting kit, that's for this little screw. Also going to open up that hole there so that I can get two wires through. So I'm going to a bigger drill bit and this is a 5 seconds inch. But it's going to depend on your wires but for the wires that come with the electronics mounting kit that's what I would recommend the 5 seconds drill bit. Okay, so the hole is drilled. I'll just test wire, make sure that will go through that hole. Yeah, it goes through just fine. Okay, um, I want to take the ejection canisters and the rings, and I just want to scuff it up a little bit. Remember, we always want to scuff up when we're going to epoxy to these things because they're so slick. It's hard to get epoxy to stick to it. screws ready. And you want to make sure you test fit it first to make sure it'll fit through your hole, which it does just fine. So this is going to be go through the inside. This is going to do the other one. Okay. So those are going to be epoxy like that. Then the, the little nut's going to go on the other side. And then the terminal blocks will go right next to the hole. So the wires will come out of the hole, go into the terminal blocks. And this allows us to put an igniter into this side that will go into the ejection charge well, which will fire off for the deployment charge. So that's going to be glued right there. And now we're ready for epoxy. Okay, the epoxy's mixed up, and we'll go ahead and then put a little bit on the bottom of there. Way too much. And that's going to go through that hole. And I'll take the little nut and put that on there. one. Okay, that's two. Now for the uh, terminal blocks, we'll just butter up the bottom side. 
we're going to stick it right on the bulkhead like that and you can clamp it down with some small clamps just to uh, keep it in place while the epoxy is going. Okay, that's one. Okay, for the, uh, the switch, um, we're just going to put the uh, epoxy on the metal part and be careful, don't get, it, don't get it into the spring at all because if it gets in that spring, the switch won't work. Okay, so that's going to be right here. epoxy on the table and again we're going to clamp it down just until the epoxy cures up Okay, so I'm going to pause here for about five minutes while my epoxy cures and then we'll come right back.